Okay, once you have set up your uh, Clickbank CB Manager script on your server, then the first thing that you need to do is uh, to change the, your home page to uh, the full URL to the file redir.cgi. Okay, as you can see here, you're supposed to uh, set your home page to this format. Okay, so replace your own domain name with the do domain name here and then save the changes. So here's how you do. Copy. Under this uh, account settings and my site. Scroll down and this is a hop, hop link target URL. So this is the place where you need to replace the URL. And make sure you change this domain name to your own domain name. Once you have done that, just click on the save changes here. So that's the first part that you need to do. Okay, the second part is, uh, as you can see here, the above is necessary for Clickbank Manager to replace the hoplink. You know that this is the uh, standard hoplink for Clickbank account. Okay, for Clickbank, uh, if you want to uh, affiliate, uh, if you want to promote an affiliate program, you have to use this hoplink. It's a standard hoplink but by using by putting the URL on the uh, column just now that means no one can uh, uh, start to promote your affiliate program using the standard affiliate link okay uh, you can actually turn this off but uh, I have turned it on this feature so that uh, not all can uh, not everyone or anyone can promote my affiliate program unless they are registered into the uh, Clickbank Manager script system okay so right now your affiliates will use this format instead okay your own domain name here and then the affiliate nickname and this nickname must be registered into the Clickbank Manager account or else it will not work okay so you'll give your affiliate this uh, URL format for them to promote and if you want to register your affiliates register new affiliates then send them to this URL I copy and show it to you okay so your affiliates or if you want them to join your affiliate program then they will register to this uh, page to this link then write their name, email address, the clickbank nickname and the password of their own choice so let's do an example ok so the affiliate will get the necessary details through email and now they can uh, log into their own account okay so this is the main affiliate uh, link for them to promote okay let's go to the uh, main administration control control panel Okay, if you want to view your affiliates, you can click here. And as you know just now that I've just uh, registered myself as an affiliate, so you can view my the info here. Okay, and you can of course sort out by the affiliate nickname, or if you want to sort out by date join or click send the number of clicks the affiliate sent. Okay, and you want it to be a sending or descending order and if you want to display by how many affiliates per page just click here since I have only one affiliate which is myself okay so this is my name my email address the nickname date join number of clicks send and if you want to edit the uh, affiliate info then you can click here okay you can change the name the email or the, and the password and if, if you want to view just click here 
Okay, then you have all the uh, necessary info. Even you, you can capture the IP address. And if you want to delete the account, you can de click here to delete. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, to add a new affiliate manually, click here. If you don't want uh, people to automatically sign up for your affiliate program or if you want to add a new affiliate yourself manually then you can uh, use this option okay write the affiliate name click email address and the most important part is the clickbank nickname and the password and once you click the submit form here the uh, affiliate will receive a welcome email letter update settings okay here you can change the affiliate com confirmation email this is the letter or this is the message that um, your affiliate will get on their email once they sign up for your affiliate program so you can change it okay you can write anything you want you can l write very very long messages and you can edit all this and the good part about it is uh, you can actually use these codes and it will automatically replace the name of the affiliate and the email of the affiliate and the URL okay so this is the format you can see all these text use this text that means if you do this like you see this hello then you see this text name let's say the person who sign up signs up uh, the name is uh, Peter so the Peter will get an email saying hello Peter no not this hello name <laughs> okay so if person signs up is David then put, it will get hello David and email address will be the email address of the uh, affiliate that he uses to sign up on the form and the affiliate URL is the affiliate URL of the affiliate which just sign up and the person will use that URL so this is the email that he will get of course it's optional if you don't want to write this you, can ju you want to write hello no, no, just write hello. Thank you for joining our affiliate program. You can log into your uh, affiliate uh, account at blah blah blah. Uh, it's up to you. Okay, it's totally up to you. Admin notification email. That means uh, you will receive an email if uh, an affiliate join. So you get this message. Okay, the name, the email address, the nickname, date, and the IP address. You'll get an email for each each time affiliate an affiliate signs up. Okay, this meta text uh, I won't go through in this tutorial because uh, this is just a short and straightforward. You can ask around, ask the uh, creator or the uh, creator of the script more about this. Okay, it's a uh, particularly it's uh, pertaining meta text, search engines, and so on and so forth. Okay, so I won't go on this to make it easy. Okay, if you want to contact your affiliates, you can email once and for all. You can email. All your affiliates at once, one shot. Okay, and you can use the same text which uh, will be used, which uh, is being used by the uh, messages just now. Remember the email messages, confirmation letters. So you can also use it here. You can write email, the email here, and the uh, the name. Write your message here, and you can just click on this button to contact everyone, and they will receive an email. Okay. Export affiliates. Let's see if you have a lot of affiliates, then uh, they'll have a long list over here. It'll be long list, and you can just uh, copy and paste to your text editor like Notepad and save it to your hard disk, just in case uh, anything goes wrong. If you, if your server crashes or what, whatever, then you can back up all this info. Okay, to add a new product, this is the important part. Okay, this product number must uh, be exactly the same as the one in your ClickBank account. Let's say it's gross emergency plans. Okay, this is up to you to identify the product ID. You can write anything.
can be anything a unique name so that you can identify the uh, product okay sales page is of course your URL full URL to the sales letter download page is the direct thank you page okay so this is just an example you must write the direct uh, download page here and include for promotion you can write yes or no that means uh, if you want your affiliate to product uh, to promote this product then you put yes if not you put no and if you put no they will not receive this uh, affiliate link on their account okay so you put add product okay this is another Im important part your sales page is this download page is this and the new protected download page has been created so this is a protected download page okay that means anyone if they go to this page I click here you can see there's an error here right why okay it's simple because it doesn't go through the proper system from the start the unique part about this uh, script is that if uh, someone just click on this uh, link they will get an error because this link will only be activated or can only bring to the correct thank you page once the order is uh, being created that means if the person if the, the person wants to order your product has clicked on your order ID uh, sorry on your order link and then uh, make the purchase and order and once you go through the proper system only then you can go to the proper uh, thank you page so it's a protected download page so you can set this download page on your clickbank control panel so I copy and under this account settings go to my products over here and click on this button add new product and you will replace this uh, thank you page URL with uh, this over here so that your download page will be protected and just place the product price $97 and once you have done everything the, just click on save changes okay you are done okay let's go back to the main control panel list and update products you can of course uh, update your products here you want to go to your download page click here you want to go to your sales page click here you want to edit just click here okay so it's quite straightforward creating ads you can create ads but it's also optional that means when, once you create uh, pre-written ads here when your affiliates uh, log in to their account they can see all these ads on the account and you can use it to promote your affiliate program personally I don't really use this because I have a I will design my own page a whole page just for the affiliate to promote all the necessary info the banners uh, the pre-written ads or whatever on the whole page itself but it's up to you if you want to do it you can click here if you want and there's also the uh, text just like the previous uh, messages okay to personalize look at this text okay you can use all these names nicknames okay let's say example copy this close paste okay when you put this as the uh, pre-written ad so this is the URL you just need to write like this go to then there's a tag here so when the affiliate log into the account they'll they will get the full URL the full U uh, affiliate URL here and you also get the their name and their email address okay let's go back
Okay, we have gone through all these parts. Okay, this is the customer. Just now it's contact affiliates, it's contact customers. So the good part is um, when someone has uh, purchased your product through this system, okay, then their name, then their email will be captured. And you can follow up with your customers. Okay, you can follow up with your customers by using this. So you can send an email to all your customers. And the good thing you can specify, let's say the product, you have three products and you want to email your customers of Guru's Emergency Plans product only, then just choose Guru's, Guru's Emergency Plans and write the message here and send it. If you want to send to all your customer list, then just put click on this. Choose this option and send the email. Okay? You want to delete customer, just go here and find the email address and delete. And if you want to export your customers like like the uh, affiliates so you just same thing you just copy the info here and save it to your text editor like notepad okay so that's all for this tutorial and thank you for watching and have a nice day goodbye